using local variables. I'm going to change my program that consists of two loops. One loop is for driving, the other loop is a, a loop for uh, moving my servo motors if the touch sensor is pressed. I'm going to show how to use local variables so that I can communicate between both of my loops. I want my top drive loop to run for only a certain number of times while having the bottom loop run as long as the top one runs. So let's say I want my, my top drive loop to run about five times, six times actually, because the eye is going to actually start counting at zero. I'm going to get a boolean, a true false, from my palette and then change it to an indicator. I want it to start off false and become true when my loop finishes. The stop sign in the loop gets a true when it stops, so I'm going to wire to that so that it, my boolean will also get a true value. And it's always smart to rename your booleans so that they make sense. Remember, controls and indicators show up on your front panel and you can see that it's not lit so that it is false and I want to make sure that that is the default value meaning that is the value it always starts at. So now I know when my top loop is stopping so now I can try and make my bottom loop stop at the same time. So I'm going to get rid of the false value and now I want to create my local variable go to create local variable and put it down by the stop sign in the bottom loop. Since this is an indicator it wants us to put something into the left but we want to read what's coming in out of that indicator so we can control click and change it to read. Go ahead and connect the new local variable for stop to the stop sign. So now we'll have information coming from the top loop and going down into the bottom loop. While I'm at it, I also want to change a couple things on my servos. I found that I'm wasting some battery power by having them run all the time, so I want them to time out so that they're not always running. Programmers like to add comments to the code so that when they go back to look at it, they will remember what they were trying to do. I also want to add a servo move block at the end of my loop, not to move the servo, but to tell the servo to stop working. I'm going to disable it so that at the end of the program, it won't continue running and wasting battery power. Before I finish connecting everything to my servo block, I'm going to move some things around so it fits a little bit nicer, so it looks a little bit better. All right, I have wired in servo motor numbers to the block, uh, positions, and now I need to create a constant to disable the servos for when the program is done running. Then all you need to do is deploy and run it to see if it works. All right, it's gonna run back and forth six times and the servos will be responding to the touch sensor that whole time.